Are you ready for long-term success? If so, stick around because we're gonna share our tips on how to make your new vision stick. Because if you've set a goal for yourself in this new year, then you're gonna have to reset your mind to go after those goals and dreams. And it's easy to fall back into bad habits if you're not staying consistent. So stick around for some motivation here on The Elevated Life. Hey, we're Britt and Chris Carmichael, and you're listening to The Elevated Life Podcast. Throughout the 16 years we've been together, we've never ceased in our endless quest to better ourselves. We've studied top experts, philosophers, and gurus. After years of personal self-experimentation and working with thousands of clients, we've found the tools for shifting your beliefs, moving through fears, and developing a positive mindset that aligns with your authenticity, integrity, and soul purpose, regardless of your past. If you're ready for a breakthrough, then you're in the right place because we're here to empower you to take control of your life with simple mindset shifts that create radical transformation. We'll be diving into topics like personal growth, health, philosophy, spirituality, relationships, success, and mindfulness. We don't shy away from the taboo topics like sex, hypnosis, meditation, and exploring altered states of consciousness. So create some space for yourself and get comfy. It's time to become the badass you were born to be. And we're so excited to join you because it just feels like breath of fresh air. Honestly, it's time to give yourself permission to just like let go of the past and start from a fresh, clean slate. Yeah, it seems like everyone that we've talked to this year has has had this like overwhelming feeling that this is going to be a big year. I mean, yeah. just I mean everybody, literally everyone we've come across, people don't know each other, they've all said the same thing. And so going into this year feeling like this is going to be a big year because we do feel that way. And we know that that's going to happen. And we know that because we want to be the other 8% and the other 8% is willing to do what it takes for long-term success. The because- elevated life people here are the other 8%. Are you willing to be the person that sticks to their goals and stays committed to going after their dreams? Because there is an 8% and that's who we're talking to today. Yeah, so a lot of it has to do with what is your vision for yourself? You have to get really, really hyper-focused clear on what is that dream I'm dreaming for myself, not what's a goal someone else gave me. Not what is, is something else is want, someone else is wanting for my life, even my spouse, even my mom, even my best friend, not what are they wanting, but what is it that I truly want to bring into fruition? When I close my eyes and I imagine that's my best self, what are they doing? Let that be your new vision for this year. So how you stick to that new vision is you constantly hold it in your mind. I want you to take a moment because I did this exercise with one of my coaching clients and I asked her to describe her mental image of herself. Like when you think of yourself, like what do you imagine? And we found the problem. (laughs) The problem was that her mental image of herself was an old outdated version from seventh grade. Okay. Like seventh grade none of us are like our seventh grade bodies okay so if we're constantly comparing ourselves to what we hold in our mind and it's not actually in reality there's always a disconnect and this is the first step in making these visions stick is actually becoming aware what images do you hold in your mind and so take a moment to think about yourself like when you think about you close your eyes down if it's safe for you and take a take a look like what does she look like what does he look like is it currently reflecting the version of yourself and or better and who you want to become yeah so once you have that vision you have to say now how am i going to do this how am i going to make sure that that's the person that i show up as every single day every single moment every single time and the first way to start getting that going is motivation motivation is so key here because motivation really is the reason why we are motivation comes from the word motive which is the reason why we do things and so you have to look at what is your big why why do you want that why is that important to you because if you don't have that You don't have the energy and the catalyst enough to actually propel yourself to take the actions that you need. It always takes motivation. This is like that big honeymoon period when you get in a relationship. The motivation is that beginning stage. But if you don't have that spark and you don't have that chemistry in the beginning, it doesn't matter what you do because you're already on a course for failure. So if you can build up a big enough why, and the easy ones are to think about the people who love you and think about who do I need to show up for them? Like, what do they really deserve? And then ask yourself, and what do I really deserve out of this life? And using that as your why and starting there as your motivation, 
Let almost pain points be your motivation or love be motivation, especially if you're, if you're a mom or a dad and that kid is everything to you. Think about how you have to show up in the world to be there for them, to nurture and support them. Figure out what that big why is and let that drive the beginning of this whole process. Yeah, life is constantly moving. And when you have clarity on the direction you want to go, it allows you to flow with life rather than resist what is happening because you don't feel like you're uh, a part of it. You're, you feel like it's happening to you. That's called the victim mentality. And when you create clarity in your life and you decide this is the direction I want to go, the universe starts to help you move in that direction with ease. And when you come up against challenges, it's not that you're not on your path or that you're not flowing. It's that you're meant to be learning a lesson and that you're meant to be growing and that it's trying to open and expand your perspective. Yeah. And so once you have that vision, once you know, and you say, I know why I want to do this. I know why this is important to me. I've got that drive in the beginning. You're going to have to come up with a great structure. You've got to plan out how your life is going to change because the reason why people all the creatives are like, no, I don't want to do it. I know it, but but when we what we realize is that if you think about creatives and you think about the world around you, think about how nature is and how beautiful and perfect everything is. It's all math. Everything is done by grand design. When I watch Brit in the salon, it's phenomenal what she's doing. It looks like pure magic. And then when I ask her about what are what is it exactly? What steps are you taking? It's all math. She's pulling and doing things at certain ankles mixing colors in a specific way it's all chemistry behind every artist if you've ever done perspective drawing you've got vanishing points it's, it's all it's all done math there's so much sound layer. healing it's frequency yeah there's you know. there, there's so much layers of structure so don't let that run away because the reason why there is that 92 percent of people that fail at their new year's resolutions it's because they do the same things last year and they do the same things again here this year. And they don't have a plan. Yeah, there's no plan. They don't do anything different. And so once you have the motivation, you have to sit down and actually put pen to paper and come up with exactly what it is you're going to do and lay that, that out in a way so that you're doing it every day, every week, every month, every year. And so it's sustainable because if you don't have a plan, you will do what you normally do. And so once you have that structure in place, you started the game. And you know, they say you're 42% more likely to achieve goals that you write down. So instead of looking at planning as a daunting task, think of it as a manifesting tool to make your dreams a reality so that you know the direction you're going. You know the action steps that you're going to be taking because I always say, if it ain't scheduled, it ain't going to happen. Okay. It's like the first lesson I teach in shine school, because if you're not planning, what are you planning to fail? Isn't that, yeah. isn't that something? Yeah. Failing <laughs> to plan is planning to fail. It's true. It's true because you don't know what to do. You like, when you sit down at the computer, there's so many entrepreneurs that sit down at the computer and they think the, the work's going to hit them in the face and they're suddenly going to have all these, if you don't have a plan, you're not going to know what to do. You're going to sit down and what ends up happening is you become super distracted. And so you just go with, your mind loves any new shiny object. I mean, that, that's exactly how it works. And so anytime you're presented with something new, you're like, oh, I'll go chase that. Oh, my friend's calling. Let me talk to them for two hours. Oh, that person wants to meet for lunch today. Let's go out and do that. And meanwhile, all that work, all that stuff you're supposed to be doing didn't happen. It's because there's no plan and there's no structure to it. And boundaries. Yes. Mm. <laughs> So I want to know, what is that big goal, that dream, the one thing that you're working on right now? Because we can really, truly only focus on one thing fully at a time. We can spread ourselves thin and, and try to focus on multiple goals at once. And maybe if they all align and, and they work together, then it makes it a little bit easier. But I always like to suggest starting small. Like for me, when I decided I, want, I was no longer, I didn't want to be 210 pounds anymore. I wanted to be healthy. I made a decision. The first decision I chose wasn't to like drastically change change my life and go to the gym and do this. No, no. I had already tried that. It didn't work 85 times my whole life. Okay. I was like, you know what? What's the one thing that if I let go of it right now, that would be huge for me because I feel like I don't want to give it up. I'm addicted to it and it's not healthy to me. Soda. I started with soda and it was the first thing that I let go of on my journey to health. And when I was able to conquer one small goal, I was able to stick to it. And so that's the third tip is to celebrate the small wins on your way to big dreams and big goals because it doesn't happen overnight <laughs> and we can get burnt out or disappointed or 
whatever, like all, you name it, we can come up with any emotion along the way to derail ourselves and self-sabotage before we get to that end goal because we haven't celebrated ourselves enough because it feels so daunting because we're not giving ourselves that celebration, that motivation, and that built-in reward because <laughs> that's, let's just face it, we, we all want a cupcake, okay? <laughs> so give yourself a reward and celebrate the small wins along your way to the big dreams and goals that you have for yourself. Oof. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think so many of us forget that the end goal is not where it's all at. You know, it's, it's not we're waiting till that final moment. It, it's the, the whole way. And it's the each little win. You know, cutting out Coke was such a big deal. Cutting out any kind of soda was such a big deal for Brit. And the reality is what she ended up learning through that process is a lot of self-discipline. Self-discipline is one of the key factors really in making your vision stick because it's going to take that constant effort. Eventually motivation runs dry. It's a well you can pull from in the beginning, but it doesn't replenish itself. It's what gets enough. you started because you need more energy and momentum to like get going. And you all know that to be true. It like in any case. So uh, the motivation is, is a short term. It's like a shot of adrenaline. But what Chris is saying is the sustaining and lasting way to make your goal stick. Yeah. And Self-discipline is really what ends up, you complete the tasks you know you need to do, whether you want to or not. Like that's really what we're talking about with self-discipline. It's waking up and going to the gym, even if you don't want to go. It's still showing up. It's still having a hard day at work and coming home and being super loving to your partner because you want a good relationship. It's about self-discipline. It's not letting everything overwhelm you. It's knowing that you can take those breaths, you can take that pause, you can come back exactly who you are and what you need to do and focus on the things that are extremely important to and you. And that you don't owe anybody anything. This is so important. This is what Chris and I were talking about before we hopped on here. It was like so many people feel like they owe it to everybody and they, they have to bend over backwards for every other person that crosses their path. But maybe they're there to show you that that's not the way and that you're continuing to prepare perpetuate the problem. Maybe they're showing up for you to finally practice your boundaries and your courage and, and owning your self-worth and reclaiming your time and your power. Boom. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. This has been so fun to share our wisdom and our insight. And if you know somebody who would love this message, please tag them in the comments below, share the video, spread the good vibes, because we love elevating you and taking you to a level where you have new perspective, deeper understanding and clarity of who you are and why you came here. And we want to help elevate you. So if you're someone who lacks that structure, the discipline, the motivation, you maybe you don't even know what the your goal is yet and you need somebody to like sit down and brainstorm with you, this is the place to be. In the Elevated Life Membership Club, we want to hold you accountable to going after your dreams and exploring all those different areas that maybe you've been neglecting because they actually make a difference in your life and you're wondering why isn't it working? Yeah, I, I think that as we come into this new year and hold this new vision for ourselves and a vision of love and peace and taking those inspired actions that we know we need to do in order to make those dreams come true, it's going to be so important to have that lasting success and to set yourself up on the right foot from the get-go. Mm. I love supporting each and, well, we, I, I speak for me, but I speak for both of us. We love being able to support you. And it's been so wonderful to see all the elevators make massive changes in their life. Um, because I know that we've been doing a lot of internal work and we're feeling like we're still, um, maybe the outside isn't reflecting that. This year, I feel like all of our internal work is gonna externally, uh, manifest itself in our life, whether it be through changes in our business, relocation, uh, you know, in your living space and um, more abundance coming in because you're allowing it. You've been doing the inner work and opening to receive. I really feel this is going to be such a, a big year and I can't wait to see what you guys do. So let us know what big project are you working on right now? What is it that you're wanting to manifest and, and create in the world? Because I know that if you're here watching this video that you've got intention, you've got soul, you've got love to give and you, your, your creative expression is like, oh, let me out. I have something to give. So if that's you and you need that support, structure, discipline, accountability, community, then I highly recommend you join us inside the Elevated Life Membership Club. You can go to brittanycarmichael.com slash membership. Yeah, and to leave you guys with one last thought for this year to set yourself upright. 
be realistic. Expect miracles. There's Ooh. going to be miracles this year. It's going to be phenomenal. Get yourself that plan. Get your vision held in your head. Get the motivation that you need. Remember what your why is. Build that structure into your day and have the self-discipline to follow through. If you need help on this topic, we want to serve you because we are here to bring out the absolute best in you. We know that you can do it. We've seen it happen again and again with the people that we've worked with. Let's do this together. Let's crush it this year. So let's show up this year. I claim it all. Yes. yes. Oh my God. I want to hear it. Hashtag I claim it all. Oh my gosh. That's so amazing. So if you want to join us inside the Elevated Life, we're going live on Tuesday next week inside the Elevated Life Club because we know that this is what's lacking in most of our lives, especially creatives, because we just want to be spontaneous. And most of the time we don't even know what the hell we're doing. So we just like fiddle fart around. Anyone feel me? Yeah. It's because we don't have structured discipline and we don't have a plan. And that is what we're going to teach you inside the Elevated Life next Tuesday. So if you want to join us live, even if you can't join us live, there's a replay. But if you want to come hang out with us, then I highly recommend you join at BrittanyCarmichael.com slash uh, membership. Well, I don't even know anymore. Boom. Thank you so much for being here on the Elevated Life series. If you know someone who would love this message, please tag them below, share this video. Thank you so much for being here and we will see you next Friday. Peace. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in to the Elevated Life podcast. If you love this episode, please share that love by leaving us a five-star review and spreading the good vibes on social. You can tag us at the Elevated Life Club. Want more wisdom from us? Become an elevator by joining us inside our monthly membership club at theelevatedlifeclub.com to discover mindset upgrades, lifestyle hacks, and spiritual tools to elevate your soul. Each month features a live group coaching masterclass, guided meditations, yoga practice, and more to help you transform your life one step at a time. It has all the tools, coaching, and community you need to level up progress every month, and keep going in every area of your life consistently over the long term. Join us in the club and start your transformation today by signing up at TheElevatedLifeClub.com.